皆さんこんばんは。Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tokyo. 26 years ago, we acted as the host city for the games of the 18th Olympia. And today, another city is about to be chosen. The host city for the 1996 Olympics will be announced. Sandra, a lot of anticipation, obviously. And I must tell you that as a native Atlanta, I am most proud of what I have seen here this morning. This city has supported this bid for the last four years and gotten behind it. As you heard Commissioner Lomax say early, it has been the spirit of the people that has made the difference. And I have to tell you, as we await the next hour, an hour that I think will be the most important in the history of this city since General Sherman marched through here. And as far as what will happen, who knows? I will tell you this, regardless of the outcome, Atlanta has been a winner. The, the, the Olympics, um, again, is a mixed analysis. It was a blessing for, um, if you look at the city without regard to people, just as an infrastructure, just as an economic hub, it was a blessing in that sense. That was the, the cover act to, to, to take down the first five or six public housing communities. Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is Channel 5 Eyewitness News at 11. Good evening, I'm John Marler. I'm Brenda Wood. It appears certain tonight that come 1996, Olympic athletes of the world will be living in the shadow of one of the nation's oldest housing projects. With the deadline for a decision bearing down and tempers running high, People who live at Techwood and Clark Howe Homes have agreed to sell some property to Olympic organizers. We missed back in the early 90s and we're still missing it uh, with the failure to oversee uh, how these government dollars are being spent when we revitalize communities. Channel 5's Ken McLeod has the story. Amid shouting and finger pointing about most every problem that has ever plagued public housing projects, Atlanta Housing Authority Director Earl Phillips tried time and time again to focus the crowd on the subject at hand. Here is an opportunity for us as a team, as a family, as a community to finally together do something that's going to turn this neighborhood around. We're missing a component that's not just infrastructure, we're missing an opportunity to help revitalize people that live in these communities. As you say, it's a convenient cover. The Atlanta Committee for the Olympic Games wants to buy this 4.6-acre sliver off the northeast side of Techwood Homes for about $4 million. Officials say that money would then be used to relocate the residents of these 112 units and to boost education and job training programs for all residents of Techwood Clark Howe Homes. Lisa Clerk would have to move, and she welcomes it. Yes, I want out of Techwood, because Techwood ain't nothing. It ain't nothing but a health hazard to us. To our is it a systematic effort? Yes. This is the second vote on ACOG's proposal. It was approved by one tenants group last year. But when the legitimacy of that vote was challenged by other residents here, incoming Atlanta Housing Authority Director Earl Phillips decided another vote was in order. Faced with a June deadline, officials argued a yes vote would not only clear the way for ACOG to buy the land, but also trigger a domino effect of neighborhood improvements that would be around long after the Olympics. A no vote from tenants would stop it all cold. As people waded through the controlled chaos to vote, some opponents insisted the whole thing was just another empty promise. But most residents didn't seem to buy that. We are not going to continue to tolerate this dungeon that we have to live in. And the only way we're going to be able to do so is to have adequate cash. This first plan here is going to open the door for the rest of the community to get the things that we need and want and we deserve to have here in this place. Tonight, ACOG and the Atlanta Housing Authority have the answer they wanted. The final vote was 144 yes, 47 no, meaning tenants have agreed to sell the land for Olympic use. But it will be at least a year, we're told, before anyone will have to move out, John. Ken, the people in those 112 units, where do they go?